in my Niger accent, I say, this fresh tilapia stew, eh? Hey, <laughs> it better pass. Enter your eye. Chai is sweet, well, well. <laughs> hey, and the okra, eh? Fresh and drawy. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, queen of chefs, I enter the building again, no. <laughs> hey, make una get ready. Hey, it go be. Welcome to my kitchen and we're cooking many dishes here at Queen of Chefs, Queen of Chefs Who from cultures all worldwide, African, Chinese, all styles Here at Queen of Chefs, Queen of Chefs Enjoy tasting meals, original recipes So into the pot I'll add two cups of red palm oil into which I'll add my blended ginger, onions, and peppers. Please find the list of all the ingredients in the description box below. I used about six hot peppers for this recipe. If you don't like too much heat, you can use less. So I'll cook the onions and peppers for about 10 minutes before I put in my tomatoes. I'm using canned crushed tomatoes. Each can is 28 ounces. So in total, I use 7 cups of tomatoes. So it will be the same when you are using fresh tomatoes. In goes a teaspoon of ground cloves and a teaspoon of ground aniseed. I'll give it a good stir and allow it to cook. At this point, I added two tablets of shrimp seasoning and half a cup of dried shrimp powder. I actually thought I was recording, but I was wrong. So please pardon me for that. I also added about five Negro peppers and a tablespoon of salt. So we will continue to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, stirring frequently so the bottom doesn't burn or stick. And please, we are cooking on medium heat. As you can see, it has thickened beautifully. So it's time now to go in with our tilapia, which I've cleaned and cut up nicely. So after the tilapia has gone in, I will carefully stir so I don't break the tilapia. Look how delicious it looks. Abi, enter your eye. <laughs> As it continues to cook, I'll come in and stir carefully so I don't break the fish. Stirring occasionally prevents the bottom from sticking and burning. This stew better well well. Ah, is sweet pass. Welcome to my kitchen and we're cooking many dishes here at Queen of Chefs. Queen of Chefs. I'll come in again and give it a gentle stir. As you can see, it's almost ready. So at this point, I'll add some fresh shrimps to it. Ooh la la, delicious. Shrimps comes with a lot of flavor, so you can imagine 
this too is on another level it will be finger licking good mm, mm, mm. just look at this gorgeous deliciousness i just can't wait to dig into it it the enter my eye. Hey, welcome to my kitchen, and we're cooking many dishes. So I'll come in and give it another stir because I don't want the bottom to burn. As you can see, our stew is almost ready. Mm -mm -mm, I can't wait to dig into it. Oil settling on the top of stews is an indication that a stew or soup is almost ready. And yes, at this point, our stew is ready. Chai! Hmm, you they bring a bar. Shabi, they bring pounded yam. Ah, oh, yeah, hurry. Bring pounded yam. Bring a bar. Bring everything. Our stew is ready to be eaten. Hey, I can't wait. So I'll set it aside now and cook the okra. I normally use a food processor for my okra because it's fast and saves me time. But if you don't have a food processor, you can cut it up as well. So what I do is, I cut off the head and tail, cut it into two, put it in the food processor, and crush it for about 30 seconds. So if you don't have a food processor, just go ahead and cut it up like so. I'll then transfer it into my pot and get it over to cook. To my and into the okra, I'll add two cups of water and a teaspoon of baking soda. The baking soda acts as a draw agent. Our okra will be slimy just the way we want it. And then I'll go ahead and add me some vegetables. I'm using spinach, but you can use any veggies of your choice. And then I'll give it a nice stir and allow it to cook for about three to five minutes. After three minutes, I'll add in some onions and also two tablespoons of dried shrimp powder for flavor and taste. I'll now go in with a teaspoon of salt. Always remember the addition of salt is entirely up to you. And yes, our okra is also ready to be served. Very fresh and flavorful. Trust me, kings and queens, the aroma of this stew is so good you can't resist. This is heavenly, and I love it this way because I get to pair the stew with other foods like plantain, yams, rice. In fact, 
the options are countless Enjoy. and i'm pairing it today with ghana banku trust me is sweet well well <laughs> I bet you want to have a taste of this deliciousness. <laughs> Until I come your way again with something wonderful, remember, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. So go ahead and make magic in that kitchen, because cooking is simple. Don't make it stressful. See you in my next video. Subscribe and come learn tasting me This is an original recipe